In my last video, I mentioned something that is critical to KOF's neutral, which is the KOF zone. I'll leave in the description below the link if you want to watch it, but in short terms, the KOF zone is an imaginary box that stays in the middle of the present screen, where the reactions are harder and the classic KOF triangle happens, where standing attacks beat hops, hops beat low attacks, and low attacks beat standing attacks. Recently, I've been asked to do a replay review to one of the users on my Discord, where I teach people how to play the game, and I noticed how this player was at first playing around the KOF zone correctly, but then forcing his way inside of it, which was one of the major causes as to why he lost the set. My intent on this video is to show you an example on how a player may struggle with this important aspect of the game's neutral, and how to solve it in an edited version of it, and of course, if you have any questions or suggestions for the video at hand, or for future videos, I'll be happy to listen and answer them. The KF zone is like uh, around here, let me put it on round zone, right? Yeah, so it's like around here, right? Inside this box, this little box that you're seeing right here, is where the classic KOF RPS happens, where low beat standing attacks, standing attacks beat hops, and hops beat low attacks, right? The interesting thing is that you don't have to be inside. You can also just stay outside of it, right? play more reactively. If they dash up, you have things like uh, crouching jab. Apologies for my writing. <laughs> And of course, if they, you go for this, for for hops or jumps, uh, you you have things like 2C. Although 2C, I don't I don't think it's that good of a button. And you also have DP. You want to play around uh, this zone if you don't want to force interactions to happen. And of course, if you don't need to, uh, risk reward management is really important in this game. You don't need to go inside the KOF zone, especially when the round starts, when you have your characters and other situations. Because I see that a lot of people like the round starts and they just go in, which can be effective against some players. But against you, you for example, you stayed outside the KOF zone and let himself push into the corner slowly, right? Which is good. Like, all of that is really, really good. But then, pop, pop. let's watch the KOF zone cl uh, closely. You play around here, you poke, you whiff, you whiff punish him, although I don't know if that was intentional or not, but still, you play outside the KOF zone just barely, right? You're not, like, running away full screen and you're pushing himself slowly to the corner, right? Slowly but surely. You're still staying outside, and now, look at you. Now, you are inside the KOS zone. Like, here is good. You're staying around the, the KOS zone, right? Playing slowly, and then you went in when he was, like, over, like, here, right? So, the thing, the, the curious thing is, a lot of people think that this game is, like, excessively defensive. I just think that there's a time and a place for, for taking risk. Here, you took an unnecessary risk of going inside the KOF zone, regardless if you didn't block this, right? This was also kinda hard to block, especially because it's Orochi Yashiro. And now you're putting yourself into the position where Yashiro just puts you in the corner, and now it's, as you can see in the chat, time to guess. Let's go gambling! So what you could have done is still play in this border. You were doing fine playing around here. And as I said before, if you played around here without hopping, you could have reacted to the jump and the two, again to C or DP. The first mistake is that you can slowly play around the KOF zone, but like slightly, slightly beside it. Because if you run away too much, then you're going to push yourself into the corner and you're kind of like contesting the range. Now, some characters do like being full screen if you're like a zoner or not, but you're playing Kyo and you have the life lead and you're slowly pushing score into the corner, which is fine. This is actually a win for you. But then you went in and whiffed the hop for no reason. All right, I imagine that you tried to read him dashing up or doing a hop and you're interrupting it, which you didn't have to. You're already having the, the advantage. Be sure to play beside it, is what I'm trying to say. It's, uh, beside the KOF zone. When you have to, of course. There's times where you need to uh, take risks. But this is not one of them. There we go. Oops, I fucked up. Okay. I tried to opposite select it, but I didn't get the OS. Just oh came yeah, out. yeah, that's what I figured. So what he's talking about when you're playing against a grappler, there is an OS. Let me see if I can if I can show it. So there's an option select that you can do select whenever it. you're playing against a grappler that deals against their wake up command grab. So let's use for example Clark. Okay. I know that the opponent was Orochi Yesher, but stay. Clark was uh, basically the same, right? Okay. So that command grab is invulnerable. But let's use it as a as a reversal. 
Yeah, as you can see, uh, I tried to hit him and it went th right through my attack. That's because he's invulnerable. There, okay? So there's a way to actually prevent that from happening and, and also to continue your, your, your offense at the same time. And that is by buffering backdash right when you do a hop, right? So the way it works is that whenever you get a knockdown, whenever you're about to attack uh, into your safe jump, you're gonna do a hop attack and then you're gonna uh, quickly buffer dash, right? So if you saw my inputs like here on the on the left, you see that I input back dash. Yeah, right, right about here, right? I'm inputting back dash just to avoid the command grab. And so how it works is if the opponent gets hit by my attack, then I continue my combo. But if I whiff that attack, then I will get an immediate backdash and his command grab with whiff. And this is also good against rolls because then, uh, of course, if he chooses to roll forward, uh, then you'll get a backdash and then you'll get the punish. So it works like this. You get the idea, right? There he did it. And there I did it. Even though I input the backdash, I get the attack. And our good friend Leo was exactly trying to do that, but of course he failed. He got a knockdown, right? Going to the safe jump, and then got the backdash. Now this essentially means that you did the OS wrong. Nice. There it is, the punish. Oh. And there it is. That's why you need the, the OS against grapplers. So this is one of uh, many examples of why that, that option select is effective against grapplers. <laughs> People loving jumping in on you if you with a hop in front of them. They really do. They tend to full jump a lot when your character has a cross up button, which makes sense, right? If they full jump, like let's say that this is the screen, right? And you did like you went from over here to here, right? And your character is over here. They see this and then they instantly jump. They go from like here and they think that this is like an exaggerated arch, of course, but you get what I mean. They go from here and they think that from here they can hit you, right? That's basically the, the goal. And if they can't, then they'll choose to go for a hop. One of the solutions is what you say, Takamura, is you, you're seeing him jumping in from over here. Like, you see you see the character going over here, then you hop back. Or you, you don't need even to see them. You can just go back right immediately and then press a button. I think with Kyo, maybe JD, maybe? And that will intercept the, the, the attacker here that's uh, that's trying to jump in on you. Uh, you can do so you can do uh back hop attack, then you can also use TC or you can use DP. But basically he just get got a free jump in on you. Okay, here he comes in. Nice lore battle. There, like you don't need to do this. You don't need exactly to go uh, to, to go right in, especially like, sure you don't have the character lead, but you do have the life lead and the resource lead. So if the time runs out, eventually he's the one who needs to take risks. Now the ways around like to take risk in this game is are not just to run in or to hop in. You were doing it correctly, like playing semi aggressively, playing like right around here in the like right in the border of the KOS zone but then in this round I think you got a little bit desperate and then you went in that's nice there there it is now you're doing what I like to call it like the throw protection where after a certain amount of time where the opponent is like right here in the corner and you're like over here assuming that you didn't get hit and instead of just going in uh, and continue your pressure you just uh, wait for them to just uh, jump in or just uh, dash in, in in an attempt to get out of the corner and you stop that and that's nice. What I want you to do is to do this but not only on the corner but in mid-screen as well. That, that's like I think you could have done in the first round to basically win it. Uh, and that was I think your crucial mistake in the first round. Okay. Nice. Mm, sad confirm. Ooh. It's okay. I respect it. Nice. Oh no, how do you confirm? I didn't believe. Uh, yeah, you didn't confirm. And what happened there? Yeah, you press 2B and then of course he... Like this is not... Like you could have also conf... Maybe not! Maybe you couldn't have confirmed after 2B because of the range. Uh, but this thing, like 2B after a hop and then and then he pressed CD. This kind of happens and that's fine. The mistake here was that you didn't confirm earlier and so you allowed him to... 
to just get in on you for free. Oh no. Hey, Koval, how you doing? Oh, honey, confirm. I didn't believe. Yeah, you didn't believe. Uh oh. Time to guess. Which side? Which side? Da -na 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 -na. Good luck. Well, Bane, nice. nice commander. There we go. Alright, the first character nice. at least. So yeah, uh, second second mistake that the mistake that you did in in this round particularly is that you missed your confirms. But I think your neutral overall improved, except for just the the the, the aggressiveness and the start on the round. Sorry, man. I'm gonna get destroyed by this character. I don't know what the fuck to do against this shit. So against Shizuru, my I think the the best thing I can offer first of all. Jumping in against against her can be tricky depending on how good your JCD is because she has to see, right? And I believe to see six frames. Yeah, six frames. You can see here six frames. So unless you have a, a you don't have a good uh, JCD, jumping in on her can be dangerous. Not only for that, but she also has the the EX clone, right? An EX clone gives her a combo. It's also plus two on block. So the best way I think uh, to deal against Shizuru, unless you have a really good uh, JCD, even if you do have a JCD, there's still the clone and she also has like a light DP. Trying to poke her clones, uh, for example, with 2D can, be, 2D can be effective, unless she does the clone that, that goes like upward. Shizuru is, I think, all about conditioning with her clones because either she goes with, the, with her the upwards uh, uh, clone or the downwards. Usually they start with the downwards uh, for the better reward and better corner carry, and because also uh, also because of the follow up. So yeah, once you get to know her like uh, cloning habits, that's when you start can can start to to jump in. But right now, while you don't have the life lead, there's still plenty of time left, so you don't have to like excessively go in. But yeah, don't just jump in because she has to see NDP and clones. That's uh, the bigger thing. And also be careful with using low bonds. Uh, I I did mention 2D to interrupt the clones, but she also has I. Uh, I believe it is 6B, which is anti, uh, which is invulnerable to lows. So be careful when doing that. We, uh, playing the with punish game against uh, against Shiz, I think it's uh, very important. Very that is good. Okay, you're baiting the DP. Then here you whiff two A right here, and then you press CD. Don't uh, uh, be careful with this, especially when whiffing against Shizuru. Or not even necessarily just Shizuru, uh, remember she has two bars. Always, like when the opponent has two bars, just know that they can convert a light poke into quick mode. Ah. Oh, let me delete this. Again, let's put the, the classic KO zone. The good old... The, the, this is her home, right? This is, this is her house. Round starts. He backdash. This is a win for you, by the way. He backdash. He put. He pushed. He pushed himself a little bit to the corner. So that's fine. Okay. okay. There. You did a, a neutral hop, Andy, which is fine. This is fine, preventing the, him to to hop in forward to you. That that is okay. But you whiffed. But still, you have plenty of space, both back and forward. And still, when you land, you still have plenty of time to react if he hops forward or jumps in or just dashes in, and you can stop him. This is hard for him to. To deal with you. Of all the other options that I mentioned, what he did was. Why are you hopping in? With the hop is okay because, uh, again, you have plenty of space uh, between you and the opponent, and you also have plenty of space backwards. Uh, he saw that you with the hop and he jumped in. You should have just stayed here, like I mentioned earlier. You are fine. Uh, you're doing good when you're playing right around this area, but you don't need to do this. This is a risky option that you don't need to take. Okay. Ooh. No. Bro, if you see him... Okay, so... If you see Yashiro, right? So he's not quick recovering. And he has no DP. So it's not like Blue Mary that has both a, a command grab. A command grab, right? And a DP. He only has this. This or roll, but the only one that deals damage to you is this. So do the OS. Like you, you're seeing that he's not, uh, he's not teching, right? 
So the best option is to do the, the anti-grappler OS that I talked about earlier. And you know how to do it. Uh, you, you, you failed it the first time, which is fine. Happens. Like, we, we all get, like, mis-execution errors. But then you don't need to backdash or... Maybe even would have been maybe a better option. But if you see that he's not teching, the best option is just go for the for the OS. Yeah, so Orochi Yashiro does have the the anti air grab, but that's still kind of like a risk. It's just as a risk uh, as he waking up with like with like the normal command grab, like he has an anti air and grounded, right? That is a huge risk that Score uh, needs to take. Backdashing is not. It may seem not like a bad idea, but against this character, because of 4C, it's kind of eh. Okay. You see, uh, you're playing around the, the KO zone, right? That's nice. Nice. Okay. You had a life lead. Okay. Try the CD. Oh, no. Uh, again, you see how most of the time you're losing the round. I, I can't believe that's a hard knockdown, by the way. Can you guys believe it? I, I cannot believe it. That is crazy. Okay, but you see how... Still, the reason you're losing a lot in the rounds is because you're going in uh, when you don't have to. Like, he ha he hits you with ground CD, and he's not, like, exactly anti-airing you, as I said. Uh, like, uh, at least on reaction, right? Oh, no. Th there you went in, and you didn't have to. And you could have just whiff punished him. Like, he could you could have just stayed there, and he would have done uh, CD, and then, boom, you get a whiff punish. Like, that pressure is good. You went back recently to uh, play the projectile game. This is kind of dangerous. He could have, like, there, he could have just landed. I don't know why he didn't press a button. Maybe he did, but he did it late. Uh, there, he could have just uh, hit you and just full combo, right? So, this, you don't need to do this. And you have, remember, again, I'm sorry that, I, that I'm repeating myself too much, but you have the life lead. It's fine that you're playing semi aggressively, like, just. Uh, like dashing in and he pushed himself into the corner, but you don't need to go all the way Another approach that you should take because I think that your approach is rather stale And uh, this happened to me also uh, still to this day where there are only two ways of approaching is either dashing in Like doing like something dashing in and grabbing or just hopping in, right? That's not like your only ways to to um, To go in right? When you're playing uh, uh, like around this range, especially with with Yori, right? You don't need to just jump jump in or, or just run in uh, grab. You have Farsi, right? Amazing with punish tool and a special cancelable, right? You also have far B. You have far D. Look how far this reaches, right? And you have the advantage. Play around your pokes. This is still good for you. Like try to alter your approach as well. I don't know. Oh. Nice air cancel. That's oh. a good option. Oh, yeah. Again, you see you see the habits? You see him doing projectile and then it hits him and then he does the clone. This is another thing that I've been talking about that you should also note the opposing player's habits because they tend to repeat themselves uh, especially when they work because the human mind is of course not always, but it's kind of engineered that if something works, of course, you're going to keep doing it. And he did it, I, I believe, four or three times in this set, and you still get hit by it. So, yeah. Another thing that I think you should start doing is that late tech OS. Oh. Let's say he grabbed you. Right? And you got to guess whether a throw, a throw or a strike is coming. The delay tech option is a good way to stop that. So if you saw my input there, basically what I'm doing is that I'm blocking uh, Clark's, of course, I'm, uh, uh, one thing that you have to do is, the, is block the the, hop, uh, the incoming hop attack. But then, uh, for a few frames, you're going to block low, right? Then, as quickly as you can, uh, as quickly as you can pl press uh, either C or D back, right? and then uh, go back to crouch blocking. So what this does is that you can have kind of like an option select, where it, whether if your opponent goes uh, into a strike or like a pressure situation, you just block his incoming attacks. And if the uh, opposing player just decides to go for a throw, then you will take it. So let me uh, demonstrate it again. 
Uh, put it in the first position. That, there I did it wrong because I didn't uh, delay it enough. Oh dang it! There. Okay. So you see that either even though I press uh, back C, uh, I still block, and that's because I'm doing the delay tech quest. Now let's just say he goes for a throw now. And I'm gonna try to do the same input. There we go. So this helps you a lot uh, to improve your defense, uh, especially in the beginning when when both players don't have meter, uh, so they cannot use advanced strike to beat your throw. There are other ways to beat that, like you can space your normals and time your normals correctly so that they can interrupt your grab. But that's still a good way to kind of consistently stop players from doing like the typical strike throw mix. Okay, that was the, the empty throw, but of course the, the empty throw OS where if... Uh, I'm not gonna demonstrate it, but essentially if a player jumps in, you press uh, the same thing, uh, back, uh, let's say 4C or D. In this case D would have been better because of course if you get the throw, then you uh, throw him back into the corner. Uh, and you cannot delay it, so... If the opponent goes for a jumping attack, then you block it. If the opponent goes for an empty low or an empty throw, then you will grab him or attack the uh, or attack the grab. But in this case, I'm gonna make an exception because, of course, it's a Yashiro and he has the invulnerable attack, uh, the invulnerable command drop. While it is true that I mention a lot uh, that you should also poke instead of just running in and hopping in, th both options are good. But of course, there's a time and a place to do it. And against uh, Oyash, especially uh, if you're playing against a uh, good Oyash that knows how to hunt here, especially with this stupid ass bun, <laughs> you should uh, mask, not, not mask, but like alter your approach. Uh, but here, you, pre you press a bump, you whiff, nice. You went in, then you blocked. That, that, that going in again was kind of risky, but that's fine. Then he poked you. I don't know why, why you did this. He poked you out of the air. He has the advantage. You're pressing in situations where you don't have the advantage to press. At least to see would have been better. But I understand the, the pokey mentality here. But if you're losing the disadvantage, then it's not your moment to press. Or at least not this button, for sure. Nice. Corner protection. Nice! Ah, oh, you gotta believe, man! Please believe in your punishes! If you're gonna press, in the ca in case you, 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 you believe that he's gonna whiff his jumping button, believe! You have to believe! Or at least react, just do something like 2v2v 2B, 2B into EX, right? Nice! There, there you go! There! Woohoo! We've, seen, we've seen improvements, let's go! Okay, so... This face, back then. You see, uh, you're playing like you're playing, uh, you're playing Nooch, you know, you're playing your ranges, backdashing a bit, that's okay, fine. Then, here, you stand at your ground, awesome. Then you press to see, you got a trade, which is fine, but still, great. This is what I mean. Let's see the KF zone. You're playing right, right around it, and that's good. This is fine. You just need to hold your ground better. But th this is, this is great. I love seeing this. Oh but now, again, you don't have the advantage because you traded. Otherwise, you do have you do have the advantage to hide. Goodness. Even still, I think he has time to anti-air command grab you. But there, you traded, so it's not properly time to hop forward. Bam! There it is. You see, you see that another great tool to stop to to hold your ground. Oh my there, goodness! You went in. He could, I think he could have punished it, but that's fine. Gra there it is. You whiff your hop forward, and that's fine. But instead of hopping again forward, as I believe you did uh, last round, uh, or, or a few rounds past this, you did neutral hop and, and JD. Great. This is what I mean by holding your ground. This is how you play aggressive in this game. That is great. This is great. He whiffed, nice to be nice. Good, good thing. That's a good poke. That's nice. That's good. Even though, even though you're, you're not at advantage. Now you're masking your approach and you're doing stuff differently, right? This is this is good. Oh, 
Punish? Nice! Yeah, he did it too early. Right. No! Okay. Another chance in life. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Oh. Last shot. I don't know exactly why. Wait, hold on. I don't know exactly why are you waiting there. Because he has no DP. Uh, like, this is plus unblock, I hope you know that. If you're waiting for some for him to do something risky, then that would have been command grab, right? And in that case, you can you can hop or backdash. You're plus two, so blocking there will be worse for you because he has no no reversal. That's like uh, a hitting move, as a strike move. He has uh, the wake up command grab, and that's it. So if, if he would have done reversal command grab, you would you would have gone and hit. Either take the advantage, or if, he, or if you're watching for the wake up command grab, which is still good, both options are good. I wouldn't blame you if, for example, you press jab and then he woke up command grab, that's fine. That's just a guess. But don't do this against Oyash or against a grappler, unless that grappler has a DP. You still press him when you're at a disadvantage. Damn, how do I think? Yeah. Every time he whiffs a thing, it's literally just a bait every fucking time, bro. But you should try to stop them as well. And you're right around here. Okay. For example, you can do this. That was a trade, but still, like, not that bad, not that bad of an idea. You can interrupt them, or at least uh, not let her like uh, take so much space back. Don't go in just with this. Go in with like two A's or two or two B's. The dangerous thing about going with two B's instead of two A's is that she has six B, which is invulnerable to to lows. Yeah, you can also CD the clones. And this is what the one that gives you the best reward. And of course. You have the the combo with the area, I don't remember how to do it. And you get like free corner carry. I'm so bad. Uh, another thing, yeah, you're whiffing a normal and then hopping hopping in. Like if you know that his approach is with with uh, her clones, then interrupt them. Don't don't jump in. And you can certainly use CD and you're you have two characters with evasive CDs. So this th those are another way you can counter her clones. That's basically about the, my advice that I have for you. I'm gonna put all the notes and, and tag you in the Discord, uh, Leo. But yeah, uh, most importantly, I think that your two biggest mistakes is that you have the right idea when it comes to playing neutral and playing in the correct space, but then suddenly you decide to break it. And second of all, you're pressing and hopping a lot when you're at disadvantage. And of course, the, the, the third thing is that you have to change your approach against Shizuru. You have to do have a more grounded approach and she's through and be aware of her clones and know how to interrupt them. A few days after, it seemed like this review was really helpful for the player, which of course makes me really happy. If you wish for a replay of yours to be reviewed, you can always join my Discord through the link in the description below, and I'll just do that on my stream for completely free, as currently I'm just happy to teach people to get better at KOF. And finally, I wanted to thank you all for your continued support to my channel after seeing the reception on my last video. It truly means the world to me. See you in the next one.